How often should I clean that? Come on in, welcome to my home. We've talked about how often you should do your laundry, but now let's talk about how often you should clean things. And I don't mean by simply just running the vacuum, which by the way, you should probably run the vacuum about once a week, which really helps to keep your house clean and it helps to, you know, do those normal things so you don't get a buildup of dirt and dust. Oh yeah, dusting. You should dust probably once a week. Yeah, it just makes simple because that way you don't get into those really weird things. But we're going to talk about some things which you might not have think, thought about. So let's start off right away with in the bathroom. Okay, how often should you clean your shower walls? Shower walls. You should clean your shower and tub walls at least once a week. How often should you clean your uh, tub itself and shower itself? after each use. Those, some of those are sort of straight up. Now one of the things which I hadn't thought about doing is cleaning the drain itself. How do you clean a drain itself? It's just a mixture of baking soda, vinegar, and hot water. And that way you help keep the debris from building up in the drain such as hair and those sort of things. And that should happen about once a week. And it's really a quick simple thing to do. Now let's talk about all of those surfaces. Your, your uh, bowl, your sink, your mirrors, once again, once a week. But before you leave the bathroom, <laughs> there are a couple things which you need to think about. When you think about your toilet, how often should you clean your toilet bowl? once a week and if you're interested in finding out about toilet bowl cleaners let me know down in the comments because I actually found one which is really really cool and I know I'm going to do a video for it but I haven't done it yet so that is coming up so wait for that uh, let's talk about things which I am guilty of not doing how often should you clean your uh, doorknob yeah did you ever think about your bathroom doorknob at least once a week same thing with the whole toilet itself the bowl the uh the toilet the the tank the handle at least once a week clean your mirror as needed or at least once a week simple bathroom is basically done unless you have carpet if you have carpet in there clean it or personally i don't have carpet in mine i just have a throw rug which gets clean once a week check out the laundry version of this. Then mop your floor once a week. You, why am I doing all this that way? Simply because it makes it so much easier. Because guess what? If I do this stuff all once a week, I don't have to worry about that big, huge cleaning once every season or once every two seasons. Uh, make It makes it so much easier. Going out into my bedroom, of course, I'm vacuuming and dusting and all those things. One of the things which I always forget to do is dust the lights. Yeah, I'm guilty of that. Dust those lights at least once a week. And also, your vents, you need to use that little vacuum attachment on your the little vacuum brush attachment and dust your uh, vents at least once a month. That'll keep your air, from, the air which gets circulated in your house, it'll keep all of that dust from building up in there, which makes life so, so, so much easier. Okay, so you've done that and then you've brushed all of your surfaces, you've dusted all of your surfaces, now what do you do? Well, there's not a whole lot to do. I mean, if you've crept all of those surfaces, dusted and cleaned, you're pretty good in there. I don't know about you, but I have a couple books in my uh, bedroom. Did you, I sometimes forget to dust off and clean off my books? Yeah, books and light bulbs are something that a lot of people forget to do. Going into the living room, every surface, just like before, dusting, vacuuming, that sort of thing, but don't forget to clean off your fan. If you have a ceiling fan, clean off your ceiling fan about once a month is how often you should clean your ceiling fan. Uh, now, electronics. You need to clean your, you should clean your electronics about once a month. What I do at least once a month is take a cotton swab and get it damp not wet, not sopping wet, damp with rubbing alcohol, and then I just clean off the electronic device, which is usually a remote control. When it comes to cleaning off your TV and those sort of things, use an appropriate item, because I don't want you spraying like bizarre cleaners and that sort of stuff on your TV. So use an appropriate item for the electronic device, and there are all sorts of appropriate items that you can find. If you are interested in trying to make your own appropriate electronic device, 
device cleaner, let me know down in the comments and I will see what I can find. Uh, then we have, of course, the normal wiping off your door handles, uh, vacuuming, dusting, as I said before, curtains, all those things. That's pretty straightforward. There is nothing new and different about that. Let's go into other parts of your house, say like your kitchen. All of us have done our seasonal cleaning. You can check that eye in the sky. It talks about the seasonal cleaning. But one of the things which you might not have thought about is cleaning off your switch plates. Yeah, your switch plates definitely need to be cleaned just like your doorknobs. And you should probably do that about once a week. Cleaning your small appliances is something which is really important. If you want to learn how to clean your toaster, that will be listed down there in the description. But cleaning your toaster is important. Cleaning small appliances on the outside, I try to do that once a week on the inside once a month. Cleaning your big appliances, I do mine seasonally. I'll, I'll admit that. My refrigerator, my oven, my dishwasher, all of those are seasonal clean items for me because, well, they just get cleaned that, uh, they get used that often, so I do spot clean as needed, but that's how I do that. Other things which I do are things like the kitchen counters, the cabinets, those sort of things. I generally wipe down my kitchen, kitchen counters and my sink uh, daily simply because well they get used daily my cabinets I might wipe them down once a month but I know I do a big huge cleaning inside and out seasonally and the inside of my kitchen cabinets don't get that dirty because things go in and out of there most of the time by the time they go into the kitchen cabinets they're already sealed up in everything so it doesn't get that dirty your kitchen cabinets could be different so you might want to think about that differently let's talk about your other furniture something which you might forget to clean is your couch and your upholstered chairs. Vacuuming those and cleaning them at least once a month really does help. Do you have to do it once a month? No, you could do that seasonally, but that's up to you. And I just find for me, once a month just makes my seasonal cleaning that much easier. I mean, in no time I have my seasonal cleaning done. Also, I make sure that I'm vacuuming everything. One of the coolest things is I will use my vacuum attachment to do some of my dusting, especially in places like the in the corners where uh, cobwebs webs can build up. It really is that simple. Don't forget to clean your windows at least once a week, windows and mirrors, and it, all of these things will make your house smell fresh and wonderful and just feel really clean. Well, what do you think about that? Do you agree with that list? Do you not agree with that list? Let me know down in the comments. If there's something you specifically want to know how to clean, let me know down in the comments too. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon, which really does help keep this channel going. And I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.